Many pet owners experience a change in behavior when they leave their pets alone at home. But when does this behavior indicate that your pet may be suffering from separation anxiety? And what can you do about it? Today, we'll meet Charlie, a lovable Staffordshire Terrier mix who was abandoned by her former owners and was adopted by Jen about three years ago. Later, we'll meet Cynthia Okimoto, the owner of New York Dog Nanny, who will give Jen some tips on handling separation anxiety with her pet. Hey, Jen. Thanks so much for meeting with me today to share Charlie's story with us. Thanks so much for being here. We're happy to have you. Now, I know you've had Charlie for three years. Can you share a little bit about how she came into your life? Sure. Um, I actually rescued Charlie from my own neighborhood. Um, she, a neighbor came knocking on my door one night. It was 10 o'clock at night. It was dark. It was raining. It was cold. And there had been a dog barking for over an hour. Um, so the neighbor came and knocked on my door, knew that I already had a dog. I went outside to see what was going on. I found this little girl <laughs> um, tied to the fence of an empty building oh. and just abandoned on a very short leash in the rain. And she was clearly very frightened and freezing cold. So yeah. how does that affect her behavior now three years later? Well, she has a little bit of separation anxiety, so you can see if I stop touching her, if I move away, she's really eager for my attention. Sure. Yeah, um, and she does, she does have some issues with separation. She will start crying um, uncontrollably, mm. really, and she'll start barking for several hours. Well, today we're in luck because we're headed to New York Dog Nanny to meet with Cynthia Okimoto, who specializes in animal behavior and boarding. You ready? <laughs> here today with uh, Cynthia Okamoto, the owner of New York Dog Nanny, and we'd love to learn more about you and how you started this business here. Well, thank you Gemma and Jen for having me. Thanks for having us. Yeah, um, so I always loved dogs like most people, and I got the idea to start a doggy daycare um, when I had my little Yorkie, and I I was looking for places to take her during the day and I just wanted something that was really cozy and intimate and comfortable just like a home and uh, when I couldn't find exactly what I was looking for I decided to start my own daycare. Do you have any advice for how to deal with separation anxiety in general and how would we approach that if I did want to consider daycare? It's really important for your dog to develop the confidence and to know that it's okay to be by herself. Mm -hmm. So that's really really important. So what I would recommend doing is you know when you or your roommate leave you just don't have any emotion about it like don't feel guilty so we recommend that you just feel really normal about leaving like cool I'm going to the grocery store I'm going to the movies yeah. amazing and then also to give your dog a job so we always talk about dog jobs here um, one of the uh, jobs that all dogs are really good at, right, because they want to they wanna make you happy as their, as their parent, as their caregiver, is just to take care of the home. So you say, Charlie, your job is to keep this place nice and warm, and I'm going to check when I get back. <laughs> so the key for you is to remember you have to check. So you can't tell her to do something and then not reward her because then it's like... You know, it's like it's it's half of the half of the bargain, right? right? So just give her a little treat when you get back, and wow, this place feels amazing, Charlie. You did such a good job. <laughs> <laughs> just one more question: is if I if I were to leave Charlie for daycare for a day, let's say, uh, or even boarding overnight, how how would it, how would we get the most out of daycare, and how would we really approach that situation of me leaving her with you, who she's just met? And I'm so glad that you asked that because a lot of people don't think about how to maximize daycare they just drop their dog off maybe they live a couple blocks away and their right. dog comes in here like completely energized and loaded uh, yeah. so the way that you can really get the most out of daycare boarding uh, for Charlie is to go ahead and give her like that solid 30 40 minute walk in the morning okay. mm -hmm. and and so when she's here she's already like she's already gotten her exercise so now right. she can focus on play Well, thank you so much for joining us today. We're so happy to be here at New York Dog Nanny and to get to share your beautiful space and what you do. Thank you so much for, for coming here. It's been a pleasure. Do you have a question for Dr. Dan or an amazing pet tale to share with our audience? We'd love to hear from you. Make sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter and subscribe on YouTube. This episode is sponsored by 
New York Dog Nanny, Beaupre Photography, and The Salty Paw 